I'll just uh let's call it the schedule or whatever. Uh I'll have to make sure I don't ever add to the schedule like every frame. Because if the schedule gets if if I add to the schedule every frame, then nothing later in the schedule will ever get hit, right? Because if something happens every frame, then, like, that's the thing that happened every frame. And, like, uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, so, um, if it's any constellation protospasm, technically the game crashed after you corralled and brushed your ponies. It was, it, it crashed in the, uh, phase where, um, it was, uh, registering... It was it was basically like it, it processed all of the the corralling and the brushing, and then it was about to like write down like oh and here's how he brushed and uh, corralled his ponies and then the, the the notepad exploded the pen exploded the universe exploded um, it was a bit tragic but the ponies <laughs> they did get brushed <laughs> good job um, <laughs> um I keep distracting myself with stuff that is not work so i should uh well I'll, I'll restart the script first uh before i mess it up and then i'll uh then i'll start actually typing stuff in or you know something something along those lines um so i'm just gonna add in like i don't know just the schedule the schedule no that sounds awful i'm just gonna like uh like uh uh time uh schedule or something and it equals nothing uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, how is this gonna, how's this gonna work exactly? I guess like this, I guess like I'll just put like a switch inside the schedule, so when it's schedule time, like when the next thing on the schedule comes up, then we'll, uh, yeah, that sounds fine. Um, we'll just like, we'll just have a cascade of like, of, uh, because, like, in, in t Python, a switch statement is, like, cascading if-else statements, which is just how it works. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, all right, so hopefully um, hopefully your ponies will be safe this time around. Uh, activate away mode. Uh, move this stuff off screen. It would be nice if I could get that to start off screen so I don't have to drag it around all the time but I mean it'd also be nice if it just didn't crash and if it didn't crash then I wouldn't have to drag it off screen all the time alright so time schedule um, yes so now yeah uh, I guess I'll just put it like yeah I'll just put this uh, anywhere here is fine. Right after we calculate frame time, right? Or right, right once we lock in frame time. So, um, so like if the length of uh, timed schedule uh, is uh, greater than zero, I'll put it outside of the the parentheses, right? Um, pop. Uh, oh yeah. So, uh, so uh, so like so like. Uh, uh, do now <laughs> equals uh, timed uh, schedule uh, dot pop zero. Uh, oh, and it's actually you know. Oh wait, no, no, no. If the length of time schedule is greater than zero, we're not. It's not necessarily time to do it. The next thing I have to check is if uh, uh, if uh, timed uh, timed uh, timed. I can spell. Uh, schedule, I'll stop saying schedule, schedule, uh, index zero, index zero, because that's going to be where the timestamp lives. Uh, index zero, index zero is less than uh, frame time. Because if, if that's less than frame time, then it, that means the time has elapsed, and it is now, it is now that time. Uh, hey, it's Sacrifice, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> um, good, good then, uh, 
right so now so we right so if those if both of those conditions are met then we can we can say do now um i mean i guess actually we don't even need to uh oops this is supposed to be timed underscore schedule <laughs> not um uh that and actually yeah we like do now actually it only has to be um it doesn't have to be uh it doesn't have to be uh Oh, you know what? I can use the init system. This can be this can handle inits as well. Now that I think about it, because initializing something is just a timed event that has to happen like now. So, actually, this yeah, this doesn't have to be just the time schedule. This could just be like the do things now thing. <laughs> um, excuse me. So I'll just call it the schedule or like schedule. I guess because it doesn't just have to be the time schedule. Yeah, no, because I, I can init I, like if it's time to if it's time to initialize something, I can just put it at the front of the schedule and say, yeah, go, go, go stuff, do stuff. Uh, so in that case, I might have like, yeah. All right, so I'll just say so I'll just say do now equals schedule dot pop or whatever. Uh, no indexes. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry for all these crashes. I'm gonna have to leave away mode on for like years. What are you complaining about? This out of range? I. Uh, what? Energy markers. I just printed energies. Oh, okay, so it's here. Energy markers, energies. What? We're, oh, right. This is the case where I'm not supposed to use the length of energies. I'm just supposed to use the length of energies minus one, I think. Right? Right? This is supposed to be length minus one. Man, I'm off my game today. What has this been, like, eight crashes that I just, like, completely whiffed on? Uh, yeah, right, because the, uh, the length of energies, we just rounded up to the length of energies, and we found that it was obviously not a valid index, right? Length of length minus one would be a valid index. All right. Uh, <laughs> I um, I'm doing well. I just uh oh sorry you asked yeah uh I zoned out of chat for a second but um yeah no I'm do I'm doing well uh thank you for asking sacrificed uh it's sacrificed I yeah no my head's fine but apparently it's not like it feels fine it just doesn't apparently is not working correctly because <laughs> i keep putting in all these stupid typos and and uh errors um hopefully that's the last one i don't know we're certainly knocking through them if gradually but uh uh yeah hopefully that's the last one <laughs> all right what was the schedule stuff that i was doing because now i have to make sure i don't leave the schedule stuff in like a uh, a stupid state when I rerun the script and you make sure it's still clean and stuff. Uh, so should be fine for now. Yeah, because there's nothing getting added to the schedule yet. So uh, I'll restart the script in just a moment. Um, I should really, you know what? It would probably save me a lot of testing time if I added in that thing where like I didn't have to wait for the script to like cool off every time I uh, restarted it. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah I I could add that to the the list of things to do. I uh, yeah, all right, so uh web populate uh player list uh, when script starts. Because that would just be nice. Uh, that way I don't have to wait like a few minutes every time I want to start the script again, every time it crashes. Um, 
Oh yeah, and I'm working on this now, so might as well start on this. Actually, technically, I'm working on both that and the uh, unified inits. So, I mean, it's the same thing, turns out. Uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, schedule dot pop. Uh, right. So now, uh, if uh, do now index zero is the timestamp. One will be the uh, will be like the the thing that we're processing here. Uh, so if index one uh, equals uh, yeah, and so now it's just a matter of like enumerating all of those things, right? I mean, it should be roughly in order of like frequency. So like the things that happen more often should be higher up on this list, um, and the things that happen less frequently should be lower down. So. Yeah, I mean, I should basically like just look through all the times that I'm initializing something, or the times that I have like a cooldown, or the times that, uh, yeah. So let's um let's like take a survey of like what it, what these things are, uh, because like some of these some of the things that have like cooldowns and stuff like that might not be valid for like what we want to do here, but um, yeah, others others it, for others it should be legit, uh. So, wow, this might, now that I'm, I'm just trying to think of like the shape of what this is and it might be like, this might be huge. This might just like completely like re, this might just completely change like the organization of our script. Cause like this, cause like this is like events, like starting and ending, like pretty much anything that happens in this game happens somewhere on the schedule. So, uh, that's interesting fun and exciting I uh, yeah that yeah no nope, this is gonna be cool super cool um <laughs> all right um save that I um before I like I said before I start hacking at anything I should rerun the script uh whoop. oh yeah right <laughs> before I hack at anything I should rerun the script um All right, uh, activate away mode. <sighs> All right. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's, let's let's look at all the cooldowns that we have in the scripts. Uh, so we have uh, create pev create cooldown. No, that's not the same thing. Uh, that's something different. Uh, have update cooldown. Yeah, no, those are just completely different. Say cooldown. No, that's different. <laughs> Global cooldown. Ah, uh, no, that's different. Uh, that's just, that stuff's not even actually necessary anymore. Because it, well, no, no, it still serves a purpose. All right, it's just like completely unrelated. That just has to do with like how frequently we send stuff to. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, that, those cooldowns just have to do with how frequently we send stuff uh, other places. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, it is It is supposed to be a cave. Uh, and uh, the, uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. I was thinking of making more environment art, possibly. And uh, part of the reason that I don't do environment art more often is because of the cave, actually. Um, the cave, like, almost took... It's, the cave took me, like, a better chunk of a week. And, like, I don't know. I, uh... <laughs> I, t <laughs> I tend to, uh... I tend to, uh... Get pretty sucked into environment art. So, like, I might bite, I might bite off some more. Because it has been a while since I made new environment art. And it is fun, too. And I, I, I always like it once I, once I have made more. I just, uh... I, I'm very... I'm very uh, careful about biting off that sort of thing, because, uh, I learned my lesson with the cave. <laughs> um, all right, Twitter data cooldown again. All right, so not all the cooldowns that we have in the script are relevant. Fade cooldown? Oh, yeah, no, that's not relevant either. Uh, yeah, stream data cooldown. Yes, that's actually, that one actually is relevant. So I'm just going to start annotating these things. Uh, 
Oh, I can get rid of all these notepads that I had, like, weird things written on. Uh, there were a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> um, so, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really nervously anticipating the conclusion of this event, because it'll either be our next crash, or, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 right, yeah, I, um, the Scott, yeah, that's a good point, maybe, oh, you know what I, you know what I could do is I could bring up the, uh, I could bring up the top of the cave to be higher, so that, yeah, because, like, this guy I added in just, like, was it, like, last week or the week before, uh, it used to be just, like, yeah, the game used to, because that's not actually even, well, you probably noticed when the script is down, the sky is still there, uh, it's just like, yeah, I had added that in. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it does kind of look like a ravine. All right, so yeah, I might want to bring up the. If I'm gonna keep the, uh, if I'm gonna keep the cave like this, I should probably, or if I'm gonna keep the sky like this, I should probably bring up the walls of the cave. That's not. That's that is a. That's a good point. Oh, hey, look at that! Look, characters have a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Characters have like the little stars on them. Uh, I completely forgot something, though, is that I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's cool that the stars are, like, working, right? Oh, are they working? Wait, what? Uh, there should be... There should be two characters with gold stars and only one... Huh, wait, actually. For so oh, hey, congratulations to whoever leveled up. Um, so wait, yeah, so if, I completely forgot that I need to, I, I wanted to handle the stars differently, so I'll, I'll want to change that, and then, um, the other thing that's weird, though, is that, uh, it's giving everyone the, it's giving everyone the gray star, whereas, like, uh, hypothetically, two players should have the gold star. So I don't know what that's about. I'll have to look into that. Uh, and then I'll have to... I, I want to change the... I mean, like, the the way it's displaying now is, like, good enough. I just don't like... Um, I just don't like things changing on screen. I like them changing off screen. So I... Um, it's not a huge deal, but I kind of want to... Uh, yeah, just... Oh, is that, does that person have a gold star? No, they have a silver star. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Wait, who is that person? Is that... Is that Lauren? Wait, do the right people even have... <laughs> no, who is that? Is that Trusty Bard? I don't know what character that is. <laughs> and the, it's during an event, so I can't see. Who could that... Was it, Oh, is that Cap's Island? Huh. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't think the stars are working correctly <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> um, so it's probably uh, oh yeah, I was gonna look at the. I was gonna look at this list. Yeah, okay. So it says that one person had point seven energies, and then uh, wait, why point seven? And then also two. Oh, there must be something weird about like. How I'm a. Uh, Oh, I know what's happening. I know part of what's happening. Yeah. Alright, so the reason that these numbers are coming out weird and, like, not round is because we're applying energy, actually. We're applying the, uh... We're multiplying the energy... before we set it, which is fine. So that's why it's coming out as weird numbers, because, like, this... The way it actually came out is, like, this would be worth 1, and this would be worth 3, but then they got multiplied down by, like, whatever that value is, by, by 0.7 or whatever. Um, alright, so that's not super weird, but then some stuff here is super weird. Uh, hey, Jocko, welcome! <laughs> How's it going? Uh, alright, let me look at these name tags, because, like, I, th I, I just think they're not showing up on the right player, or, like, something. I don't know what's happening exactly, but it's weird. Okay, no, that is Caps Island. Alright, so it is showing up on the right player, at least. It's just not, um, it's just not, uh, it's not showing the right star, I guess. Which is weird. Very suspicious. 
Whoop, and then just crashed. <laughs> it just crashed right into disappear. <laughs> uh, yeah, just crashed. Cool. Great. Great. What? What? <laughs> um. Why did that crash? It uh, it crashed trying to reference the participation data. Oh, interesting. Yes. Uh, I have to check if this exists. Because if this doesn't, doesn't exist, then we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. This, so this has nothing to do with anything I did any time recently, but this was like a thing that just happened a while ago, or that has been kicking around for a while. Uh, and we just uh, discovered it. So, thank you, Jocko. Uh, so, if uh, os.path.exists, uh, <laughs> this file, then we will... Uh, worry about this file, and if it doesn't exist, we do not have to worry about it. Alright. Cool. Uh... Yes. Right, because we don't actually save out... We only save participation for the events that happen through the... Like, for the primary events. Uh... <laughs> um... I, uh... Yeah, like, uh, so, like, the, uh, the automated events do not have this data, so, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll restart the script in just a moment, and, uh, oh, yeah, so, let, actually, before I restart the script, though, I should look into, like, why is it, maybe I'm just, like, loading in the wrong, oh, no, I totally know what I'm doing, right? Do I know, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, bonus, yeah, I'm not initializing bonus, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm clob it, it was working correctly, believe it or not. Like, it was, it was actually just, okay. So it clearly wasn't working correctly, but it was displaying the correct badge for each person. What was happening is that when I'm loading them in, like, this, the second one I load in clobbers the first one, because it keeps trying to reference the same. Python's weird like that. Uh, basically what I need to say is, uh, 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 def, uh, in it, uh, self, uh, and in here we have to say self dot, uh, basically the same thing again. And technically we don't have to say it out there. We only have to say uh, in here, so whatever. Yeah. Alright, save that. Uh, and yeah, because, I mean, I guess I've just always been getting around that separately when working with the bonus system, when working with bonuses, but now I actually have to do it like that. Why did I have to do that? That's weird. How did I, how did I been doing it in other all the other cases? Uh, uh, bonus. Uh, wait, was that it? Yeah, I just been doing this again, which is silly, and I don't have to do that in all these other places. So that's good, at least. Uh, yeah, I just kept, I just kept redeclaring it, which is dumb. Uh, right, and this is the first place that I decided not to do it. This is the first place that I decided not to be dumb, and, alright. <laughs> so that should be good now, too. Uh, yeah, alright, cool. So that's, that's better. Uh, <laughs> um, and then, uh... Okay, so when I restart the script, it should be all set. And I can probably restart the script. Yeah, I'll just, I can, I can probably do it now. It's probably been down long enough. Nope, whoa, what's happening there? Uh, what's it? Oh, whoops, I had to, I don't know how that got there. Uh, what? What now? What? Oh. Oh, that's how it got there, because it was supposed to be... No, I don't know. Uh... Surface. Oh yeah, no, it was supposed to be here. Uh, right. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> it just ended up on the wrong line. Uh, all right. Uh, now go. No, still not. Uh, 
Invalid syntax. What is invalid about this syntax? Oh, I forgot the colon. That's two forgotten colons today. Uh, why don't I stream weekends? I don't stream weekends right now because I tend to do other things. Like, if I'm not streaming on a given day, it probably means I'm doing something that is boring. And I know I do, I do boring stuff on stream sometimes. But, like, if I know up front that it's going to be just, like, all boring, nothing interesting, then I sometimes take the day off. Uh, that's what happened on Friday. And, and on weekends, I tend to, like... I don't know. I was actually saying earlier, I do want to stream on weekends. I just, uh, I just don't like, I don't game dev literally every day. And so far, and like my stream is like entirely game dev. So like one thing I was thinking is I might make a schedule where like on some days I won't stream game dev. Like on some days I'll stream other things, but, and then the other thing, then the other option would be, I could just like, I could, I don't know. I think about that a lot. I just, um, the reason that I st my schedule is the way it is right now is because this is the schedule that I've come up with that works best. Uh, and uh, that'll probably be consistently the answer to that question. Um, so, I, th which isn't to say that I'm not going to change it. It's just that I'm going to change it when I can figure out something that works best, I guess. Uh, Alright, so I can, re I can restart the script now. Right? All good? Good to go? More, more away mode? So the good news is that that everyone got credit for that, for those events uh, before it crashed. So there were, <laughs> we're at least not, we're at least now gaining experience and stuff. So uh, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll work on that, Jocko. I'll let you know. Um, also, my schedule is going to get a lot less crazy soon. Uh, so that'll be good too, because once my schedule is crazy, is less crazy, I'll stop missing days. Like I've been missing a lot of days just because of, like my my time is split between multiple projects and stuff. Um, but that's that's cool. Uh, that'll be nice in some ways, and terrifying in other ways because, because uh, I have to present my other project in a couple weeks now. Two weeks, less than two weeks time. Alright. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> um so what was I working on? Oh yeah, I was working on the schedule, right? Oh uh Yeah, I was gonna work on I'll I'll get back to the schedule in just a minute. Um oh wait, I was yeah, the thing I was actually gonna do with the schedule was I was gonna start jotting down the the instances of things that actually had cooldowns or inits that I could put on the schedule, but um <laughs> um I could also, uh, I could also what? Yeah, I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to change the art thing first, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so players are going to have, oh. Nah, nah. Okay, um, <laughs> Uh, players are gonna have, uh, I was gonna, I was thinking I could put the energy thing onto the bonus list for the player, but, no, that's weird, and I'm gonna instead, uh, oh no, that, that just actually wouldn't work, that just pl plainly wouldn't work, so instead I'm gonna say, uh, so the energy level is 0.0, .0 and then, like, um, so, like, current energy, uh, uh, energy, uh, equals, uh, negative one for starters, and then, uh, and so then when, we, yeah, so right now we're calculating energy, uh, every frame, like we're calculating, yeah, so we're doing this for EI in range, blah, 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 but we don't actually need to do that. We just have to say, uh, we're going to do something like this. So I'll, I'll cut this, I'll, uh, <coughs> Excuse me. I'll, well, I'll copy this and then, um, because I actually want to keep the conditional here. Actually, no, the conditional is entirely changing. So I'll just say, uh, if, uh, yeah. So if if player blah blah, blah current uh, energy is uh, greater than or equal to zero, uh, zero, then uh, oh yeah. Well. That's slightly awkward, but uh, should be fine. 
Uh, hey, congratulations to Sacrifice. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, alright, uh, Jocko, it's nice to see you. I hope to see you again uh, sometime soon. Alright, uh, yeah, alright, so the gold stars are showing up just fine. Yeah, it was just that silly bug. Sorry, I'm gonna make the graphics look weird for a second, but, uh, uh, yeah, cool. Alright, so now there's, a. Uh, Yay, energy! <laughs> Star energy! <laughs> um, the, uh, the last thing that's going to show up is... Uh, it just has to do with... Uh, what does the last thing have to do with? The last thing has to do with... Uh, the, the timing of the stars. So you'll notice, like, right at the end of the event, like, the stars just instantly, like, appear or disappear or whatever. And it's a little... I don't know. I just don't like things, like, appearing and disappearing... If they like, if they might represent like something in the game world, um, which I guess these kind of don't like. I, I I I consider these more akin to like name tags than anything else. But uh, uh, I I still for whatever reason I just want them to follow uh, the same rules as with other stuff. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it did, uh, yeah, the, so, I mean, when you level up, the, uh, the way you can tell, or the, what happens when you level up is, like, there are, like, these little, uh, teal and, uh, yellow, like, special, like, bursty things that, like, animate behind your character. Um, I could, I mean, like, those were literally just, like, the temp graphics that I just, like, slammed in the first time I, uh, I set that stuff up. So, I, I mean, I could go back and make them look a little more exciting or special or whatever. But, uh, you yeah, know, for now, it's, it's, a, it's not, um, it's not super subtle. It's a little bit subtle in the snow, actually. Like, everything is a little harder to see in the snow, which, I don't know. I think the snow will probably be, like, kind of the upper limit with, like, how obscure the graphics get by the scenery. Um, cause right now, yeah, it's like, a lot of stuff is a little harder to see through the snow. Just like real life. <laughs> um, but look at all the Christmas trees, right? That's the important, that's the important part, right? Uh, oh, I, um, I was looking up, uh, URLs, or I was looking up domains, uh, recently, cause I'm, I want to set up a new website. And fun fact, uh, fox.christmas the URL is up for grabs if anyone wanted to register it. I don't know <laughs> why. All <laughs> of all the domains I looked at yesterday, um, or was it, it's, it's been for the past few days I've been trying to find like a new domain. Um, that one just, for whatever reason, it just, I found that one amusing. Uh, <laughs> fun facts. <laughs> um, they're going fast though, because like, just the other day I, uh, Oh, yeah, wait, hold on, what am I doing here? Uh, just the other day, I, um, I, I noticed that no one had registered the domain dark, dark.link, um, which I thought would be funny, uh, because I was a character from, uh, the Zel Legend of Zelda, and, and then someone registered it, uh, just in the past several days, so, uh, <laughs> all those hot new top-level domains, uh, getting snatched up. I, um... I'm still trying to decide, like, what I want for a new domain. Because, like, I, I picked my last one a little bit hastily. And so I, I don't want to do that this time around. Like, I want to be a little more deliberate about it. Um, it's tough, though. Because, like, I don't want to change it, too. So, uh, whichever one I pick, I, um, I want it to be the one that I stick with for a while. So, uh... All right, so what are we seeing for energy values? All right, we're seeing a little bit of a spread, right? So now we're having, like, energies upwards around, like, 3 or whatever. Uh, yeah, okay, so after the first one, they were at, like, 0 0.7, 1 1.4. Uh, and then and then here they were at around, like... So, so now they range... So I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of gold stars, right? Because, like, all these 3.8s, 3.08s are going to represent... Oh, that's, that's covered up by my head, isn't it? But there's a bunch of 3.8s. 3. 3.8s. Oh, eight, and then there's a bunch of like two point stuff. So, uh, am I correct? Are there a bunch of gold stars and then a few silver stars too? Or is it? Ever, does everyone have silver stars? No, not everyone should have silver stars. But there should be some silver stars, right? Is that working? Is it just impossible to see the silver stars against the snow? Or is are those players just not on screen right now? Uh, I'm gonna deactivate away mode just temporarily because I want to look at the name tags for a minute. Uh. 
Where are the silver stars? Hmm. I guess it'd be... It'd be nice if I could see, like, if I was printing out, like, literally, like, who's... who had which energy values, but, um... Hmm. I'm inclined to think that it's just not... Wait, maybe no one has the silver stars? Hold on, let me look at those numbers again. Because I did I did put the threshold pretty high, I guess. The, uh... So 3.8 is the max. Oh, no! I know what happened. It's not... Go right, no, it's not going by... Right, no, it's not going by averages anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Right, it's going by medians, sort of. Or, like, it's going by, like, uh... So, like, the 90th percentile is 3.08, but then the 70th percentile is also 3.08. Heck, the 50th percentile is 3.08. I don't know if that's necessarily how I wanted it to go. So maybe I should actually only use the, uh, the median... To, to figure out what is the 90th percentile, and then maybe the the other percentiles. Maybe it should actually just be, like, fractional based on that percentile, actually. Like, so, like, so I, I, I calculate the median 90th percentile. I don't know if that's the... I'm, I might be not using the right term for that. I don't know. Like, the median... Like, the, the 90th percentile not based on on, like, average, but based on, like, you know, number of people on either side of <laughs> whatever that's called. <laughs> and then maybe I could, um, and then from that, maybe I could calculate the other ones as, uh, actually I could do a few things. I could, yeah, I could, um, I could just like, so yeah, so right. So if 3.08 is the 90th percentile by the median, I could then like calculate what a hundred percent would be like, as if 3.08 had been the average 90%. Um, and then from there, calculate the other values, hypothetically. Ah, uh, maybe. Um, yeah, because like the yeah, how it is now, how it is now is just not right. Because like for having for having two point, I mean the other thing I could do is like right now I'm only counting active players or a players who have acted. Uh, Oh, uh, where do I get domains from? I get domains from uh, DreamHost because that's that's who I use for my web hosting. But uh, there's a, there's a site called uh, oh I forget what it's called. Hold on, let me look it up real quick. Uh, there's a site that's great for um, for looking up domains because you can it like has like a lot of sites like I think with the new top level domains like a lot of sites have difficulty doing that thing where they're like oh that domain is taken but here's like here are some other top level domains that you might be interested in um and oh wait sorry just one sec uh uh let me get to it quick so i can take it back out of face cam uh so what was it it was like uh it was like uh domains i forget i forget how i found it it was uh it name cheap i think wait hold on let me let me double check before i say that that's correct name cheap dot um, I think is, yeah, I think, yeah, the nice thing about namecheap.com is you can punch in, like, you can punch in, like, like, pork dot cool <laughs> as, like, the, the domain that you want, and, uh, wait, here, I'm, I'm, I'll switch back to screen cam, um, so you can, <laughs> you can punch in, like, uh, hey, pork, <laughs> if anyone wants <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> if anyone wants pork duck. <laughs> if an if anyone wants pork duck cool, that is available. Um but then the other <laughs> 
the other thing that I noticed that they seem to do accurately, whereas a lot of other sites seem to do it like hit or miss. Um, they have the section where you can click like new for like for all the new TLDs, and uh, it's it's a little slow to load, but it'll actually like it'll um, it'll actually like gradually like load in all of these different ones, and so it'll actually tell you like pork dot rehab. <laughs> Pork dot gives like these are <laughs> these uh these domains are all available to you, so um yeah uh <laughs> all right sorry pretend pork fans <laughs> wow pork pork is like not many people have gone for the pork domains I don't know. It's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, now that now that we've said it out loud, of course, those are all going to get snatched up. But um, no, that's a uh, yeah, that's um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, TLD top level domain is uh is like dot com or like dot net or like dot you know whatever, uh, and yeah, there's like a ton of new ones now, so. Uh, there are a ton of new websites that you can get. I, the thing I like about the new ones is that, like, .com never meant anything, right? Like, .com, like, technically it was, like, for what, like, commerce or, like, commercial or something like that. But, like, like some people would use it, like, cleverly. Like, you would use the TLDs, like, uh, like dell.isio.us. If you read it all together, it looks, like, delicious. Uh, like, people would use the, the top-level domains. But, like, I don't know, now, that, now you can actually, like... Like pork dot rehab, <laughs> uh, like pork dot rehab, right? Like if you're if you're setting up pork rehab, then like then I don't know, it's kind of cool. Uh, all right, what am I? Uh, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, I can. I'm gonna. I'll put a way mode back on <laughs> for a little while because <laughs> the game was crashing for so long. Uh, everyone, no one was gaining experience for a little while. So here's here's all that experience you missed out on earlier. Um, and then what else? Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Right here, where this is, this is this this is the section where we're adding the player to the queue, and so this is where we're going to be setting the uh, the current energy level, um, and you're going to keep your energy level as long as you're on screen. So uh, so yeah, the last thing we'll do down here is we'll say um, uh, the thing that we were doing before. So for EI in range, blah blah blah, whatever. Uh, if uh, or actually, so before we do this, we're going to say uh, uh, player dictionary. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. EI. I have to go back and change EI because EI doesn't mean what it used to mean. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I probably uh, yeah no, I have links deactivated. In <laughs> I have links deactivated in chat, which uh, I didn't yeah. I guess that, all right, sorry. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, all right, uh, yeah, so, so energy, so current energy, or sorry, uh, current energy, uh, we're going to set, we're going to initialize it to negative one, uh, sort of, and then, because then, because uh, we're about to recalculate it, and then if none of these, if none of these work, though, then we're going to go back to the negative one will be the correct, uh, oops, nope, uh, Negative one will be the correct uh, will be the correct thing. So, so yeah. So right. This is the case where uh, we'll set current energy equal to uh, equal to EI, right? Uh, so it might be zero, it might be one, or whatever else. Uh, but if it's none of those things, then it defaults back to zero, uh, right? So then the slightly awkward thing is that this current energy value is uh, well. All right. How can I make this as not awkward as possible, as 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 graceful as possible? I guess uh, I, th I guess the quickest way to or the, the most effective way to do it would probably just be right because like EI, that value that we've been using, like the EI value or whatever, like uh, we used it like five times in here, so I think I'm just gonna say uh, EI equals that value. Because uh, otherwise, I'd have to put this whole big chunky term like as the index for like all those other things, and that would be that would be not my favorite. So, yeah. All right, that should be better. 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah, right. And so, right. That's so. If it, that's if it's greater than or equal to zero. Because if it's equal to negative one, then that means there is nothing here to write, to to uh, to do whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, you actually uh, on the cricket race, you can place bet uh, bets on multiple crickets. Uh, pro tip. Uh, so if you you could like. I mean, if you if you wanted to, you could pet, place bets on all of the crickets, and and you know you'd get like you'd be guaranteed to get a little bit, you know, right? Because one of them's got to win, right? Um, but then, uh, yeah, you win bigger if you if you don't bet on quite as many. Uh, pro tip. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, it's pony time once again, or or carrot time. I'm I'm I won't uh, I won't tell you how to. Uh, how to run your farm. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, all right, I can get back to the schedule now. And by the schedule, I mean setting up the schedule. I don't have a schedule. Like, for example, <laughs> the, today I named the stream uh, Choose Your Own Side Quest because um, I was planning on working the, on the whole branching event system today. I've not touched the event, branching event system at all today. I've been working on all this other stuff instead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, how, yeah, how did I leave the... What was I doing with the schedule? Oh, I was, I was in the process of looking through for all the stuff that could... Get, uh, get added to the schedule, or all the things that could use the schedule system. Uh, so, oh yeah, right, so wait, hold on. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to look through cooldowns, and I'd look through a bunch, and a bunch of them were, like, not applicable. Like, say cooldown, global cooldown, Twitter data cooldown, those ones don't make sense. Fade cooldown, fade cooldown, no. Stream data cooldown, yeah. Stream data cooldown. That one. So yeah, I was gonna start a list too. So stream uh, data cooldown uh, equals. I'll just jot down for now like what they equal presently because uh, because that's what uh, that uh, that's what's gonna determine the order, right? Because the ones that happen more frequently will want to put higher in the order than the others. Uh, uh, all right. So and it doesn't have to be exact. So, like, I can fudge it. I can fudge the order a little bit. Uh, and, like, I mean, if I need to, I could set up, like, yeah, like, switches in, uh, I don't know if, like, under the hood, this is just how switches always work, but, like, in, in, uh, in Python, like, the way switches work is it's, like, is this it? No. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. And it goes literally down, like, the entire list, and so, like, the higher up you can you can get the most likely results, like, technically that's slightly better, but, uh, whatever, okay, um, Twitter data cooldown, uh, Twitter data cooldown, yeah, that one, that one's legit, uh, Twitter, uh, data cooldown, uh, oh, wait, that might be on a separate thread, so that one might not be, yeah, no, that one's on a separate thread, so we don't actually have to worry about that, that one's on its own thread doing its own thing, so, uh, well, I'll leave it on the list just to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's on its own thing. Uh, Twitter data cooldown equals 65. Uh, and of course, those numbers could change, but yeah, like I said, the, the order doesn't have to be exact. It's just, it's it's slightly advantageous if the order is slightly better. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Alright, what else? Uh, fade cooldown? No, that we already we already uh, looked at that, and that's not check fade cooldown. That that one's valid. Uh, check uh, fade uh, cooldown uh, equals 150. Uh, sorry, this is like my whoops. I don't I didn't say that. Uh, my notepad is slightly off screen. It's just so that I can see I can click back and forth between it and uh, and the IDE easier, more easily, <laughs> easily. <laughs> Uh, anim cooldown. That happens every 0.5 seconds. So sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be the first thing on the list. <laughs> um, anim uh, cooldown. Sure. <laughs> That's why um, anim cooldown being 0.5 seconds is why uh, 
is why uh, the frame rate of this game is exactly two frames per second. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, continue on. Uh, event cooldown, yeah. Yeah, that very much... Uh, Oh, yeah. Huh. You know what's funny? This would change a little bit of how I'm working on the... of how I'm doing the away mode stuff. Because right now... Um... Oh, yeah, no, I, I can still do it. Right now, the way it works is that... Huh. Yeah, one thing that's kind of nice, I guess, about how it works presently is that... Um, for things that might matter... I can set them at an arbitrary time, and then if that time passes and it didn't matter yet, then nothing really happens. But as soon as that thing begins to matter, then it can check and realize that that time had already elapsed and it can happen immediately, which I can still do with this new scheduling system. I'll just have to do it slightly differently. Because like the way it works presently is that like we actually at all times keep track of the away mode time for an event and the regular time for an event and uh we only uh we only check the away mode time when away mode's on but um yeah so now it'll just have to be that when we activate away mode that we'll have to check then yeah because it's not like there's any other way to get away mode on other than clicking the away mode button uh all right so event cooldown yeah did i have that to the list yet nope not yet so uh event uh cooldown uh, oh, you know what's funny? It's technically, actually, these... Uh, yeah, no, for the most part, these actually get these get lined up by the, the duration. But, like I was just saying, some of these things don't necessarily occur every time they could occur. And so, it's like event cooldown actually happens fairly often, even though uh, it happens only every 900 seconds or so. Uh, Alright, so, uh, continue on. Event cooldown extension. Oh, yeah, no, I know what that's for. And that's, like, it's basically the same thing. It's just, like, a different case of the same thing, kind of. Uh, <laughs> it does the same thing. I'll put it that way. Um, so, event points cooldown. Yes. 60 seconds, uh, event, uh, points, uh, cooldown equals, uh, 60, uh, disco. <laughs> um, so, uh, passive, passive points cooldown, huh, has the same duration as events cooldown, uh, although events cooldown changes. Whereas passive points is fixed. Uh, uh, although, actually... Oh, yeah, no. Actually, I could wrap passive points. That just... Whew, I haven't really been thinking about that, but... I could just wrap passive points in with the event system. In terms of... Not, not necessarily, like, how it works, but, like... I'm already looping over the entire player dictionary, and I'm already changing all of those. I'm already, like, saving a bunch of that data anyways, so... That'd probably make a lot of sense. I... I'm gonna put an asterisk next to that one, because I might want to change more than just, uh... putting it on the schedule system. Uh, the gold star above your, your character means that you are awesome, and something. Uh, yeah, that's actually the feature that we just added this morning, and, uh, so, uh, so now, yeah, so now the characters with gold stars are the, uh, the characters that are really killing it, just the ones that are doing, like, really, really well right now. Uh, it's based on, um, it's based on your participation in the event system. It's basically, like, the people with the stars are going to be the ones who are earning experience the fastest, they're going to be the ones that are, like having the most influence over the outcome of the events. They're going to be the ones who are, like, uh, just really, like, on on the ball, right? And so, uh, so yeah. I, um, 
I just put like a star in there because it's like it's it's kind of like a it's like I'm not gonna put a leaderboard in this game necessarily, but like that was like that was my way of of like adding in what you would kind of get out of a leaderboard, right? Like so like the people so like if this game did have a leaderboard, the people who would be like climbing the leaderboard are the ones who have the stars. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's what that's about. Uh. Are you the only person with a star right now? Oh, because I haven't... Cause I have, oh, yeah, because, right, I didn't change the thresholds. And I haven't restarted the script, so even if I had changed the thresholds, it wouldn't have made a difference. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, no, I should definitely change how that's calculated. So, I sh uh, yeah, I'll... Hold on. I'll, I will digress momentarily from uh, from this putting together this list. I was just at passive point, so I'll pick up from there next time I... Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh... Yeah, I want to calculate this differently. Um, how do I want to calculate this? Uh, hey, speaking of passive points, uh, I'm actually thinking about passive points. I'm trying. I've, I was supposed to be thinking about what am I supposed to be thinking about? Oh yeah, the balancing of that other thing. But I was actually like was running through my head right then. Is like, so what if passive points was instead like handled like I could, I could set up, um, I could set up like a a float to represent the frequency of like the the times at which we're calculating passive points. And I might actually just do this right now instead. <laughs> um, just because, like, it occurred to me, and, like, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Because there's a lot less, uh... There's a lot less, uh, save operations that we could do if we put... If we wrap the process... The passive points system into the event system. Because those are the only time... Those are the only two times that we actually save player data. And, uh... If we put them together, then that, like... It doesn't literally have the number of, uh, rights that we have. <laughs> but it um it reduces it by a lot so that's good that is a good thing uh so yeah so wait so oh yeah so then if they do that then passive points won't actually have a cooldown per se they'll have like an interval which is kind of the same thing but not also kind of the same thing uh so passive points time equals time dot time so at the start of the script yeah we're going to change this uh so passive points cooldown is going away it's going to be passive points uh interval uh uh interval uh and it will still be 900 uh yeah and then uh it's just going to work slightly differently uh passive points time Yeah. Okay. So it e yeah right. So it equals time dot time when the script starts, and then what are we gonna do? So yeah. So where are we currently handling process passive points? It would be like it'd be in one of these like in uh, init things I think, or no not init but um, yeah. So like uh, all right. So let's look up uh, passive uh, points. Uh, where yeah where had we all right so here. Yeah. Right. So this is where we've been doing it before. I mean, I guess we hadn't been doing it that often because it was a little lumpy actually because we were doing it based on the event points time frame, which was on a minute marker. So now it, it was kind of fine. Uh, it was before, but either way, let's. Uh, oops. What did I do? I hit Control S. That okay? That's fine. Uh, cut that. Cut this. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put this right in. Um, in the end of the event. Um, Excuse me, I try not to put things right at the end of the event, because there's already a lot of processing that happens at the end of the event, but this isn't much more processing. This is basically just annotation, because um, most of the processing gets happened... <laughs> hey, Vengalinx. Hey, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, all right, what, uh, what was I going to do here? Um, 
Right. Okay. So where's uh, the so this has to come before we calculate. Uh, I mean, this could come before we calculate like basically everything, but. Uh, uh, all right. So. I'll just put it right before we actually add in the experience points because that's like the important part. Uh, so, yeah, so four key, or no, this is this is a late dictionary. Uh, so four, where is it? All right, we're close. It's right here. <laughs> uh, right, so here's the part where we're actually adding in the experience. And actually, I mean, when I say actually adding in the experience, that's actually kind of a misnomer because we don't like actually add in the experience until later. So, yeah, right now we're saying for player, for Piki in event dictionary. This is funny, this is actually kind of like, almost going back to like how it was before a little bit in some ways, because um, it used to be the fact, it like the passive point system is a lot different than it used to be. Like, it, or like it, it, yeah, it used to be handled here and like in a very different way. So we're, we're still going to, uh, it's going to be in a, another very different way, but it, it's going to come back to where it started. Um, so actually the first thing that uh, we're going to do is uh, indent basically all of this because, uh, wait, hold on, <laughs> let me line up my shot, make sure I hit the right mark. All right, so it's, yeah, it's going to be literally all of this, and this is all going to get indented. Uh, wait, am I selecting too much? Yeah, I am. <laughs> all right, I'm a little too far. This is all going to get indented, because this is actually going to be the case where uh, uh, if uh, p key in event uh, dict dot keys, and I know that sounds redundant, it's because uh, we're going to change this to for p key in uh, player dictionary dot keys, because uh, we're going to iterate over all the characters, right? So now... Uh, so now we need an else case to the uh, to the case where oh that's convenient it actually highlights the uh, oh that's beautiful 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 oops wrong key uh, it was here right else uh, oops no don't why does it do that sometimes when I type an else it like it's like oh you wanted that unindented for whatever reason no no I did not uh, whoa that's that needs to be way further unindented right. Uh, wow, alright, so I guess it did want it slightly unintended. <laughs> to here, I guess, is, uh, right, that's the if, uh, if p key in event dictionary keys. Alright, so this is the case where it's, the player's not in the player dictionary. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so this is going to be a little different. It's not going to be exactly just like this. Um, it's going to be something like some of this. <laughs> and then not at all like some of this other stuff. So, uh, man, my code is basically pinstriped with all these, uh, with, <laughs> with all these like vertical, uh, vertical in line indicators here. Um, yeah, alright, so for passive points, alright, so we can get rid of this because we're getting rid of that. Uh, Actually, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about that yet, because actually, right before we do this, I'm going to, I'm going to do the cal the new calculation. So, um, so like, let's say uh, p bonus. <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, uh, so like p, like, uh, or I'll, I'll say like passive uh, amount. Uh, How do I want to do this? Uh, basically, I want to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if so, passive amount uh, equals. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, the. Uh, uh, sorry, I. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, the so the passive amount. Uh, I'll start at zero, and then. Uh, and then we'll say, well, I was putting a semicolon out of a weird inclination that I really shouldn't have been the case, considering I haven't worked in like C sharp in the longest time. But whatever. Um, so if I, yeah. So if I, if passive time, passive points time, if passive points time 
Now, so now passive points time is going to keep track of when the last time passive points have happened, kind of. So passive points time uh, is less than uh, frame time, or no, passive points time plus uh, passive points interval. Uh, passive, oops, uh, passive, uh, wait, passive points time plus passive uh, points uh, uh, interval is less than frame time, then uh, passive amount, uh, amount, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, passive amount plus equals, uh, or, so, or so, actually, um, so, yeah, yeah, okay, wait, no, this, this is fine, uh, passive amount plus equals uh, the integer version of the Math dot floor of frame time minus frame time minus passive points time. If I get this wrong, I'm gonna seriously screw up player data. I'm gonna screw up player data so hard if I get this math wrong. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. <laughs> it's gonna be so bad. <laughs> I, re I'm, I should back up player data before I do this because otherwise it'll just ruin everything because <laughs> like these numbers are huge these numbers like frame time and past and and like time the time scale these numbers are enormous they're like in the billions or like trillions or quadrillions or whatever so um <laughs> I might accidentally make someone like level five jillion by x <laughs> no um uh, all right so frame time minus passive points time divided by divided by passive points interval uh so basically the gist is that if like if this should have happened twice by now then it'll happen twice actually is that even realistic i mean sometimes like the events uh Sometimes events can get a little spread out. It's like the gist. Maybe this is overkill though. It'd, it'd be it'd be a heck of a lot safer to do it the other way. Uh, uh, no, nah, whatever this one. <laughs> so passive amount plus wait no passive amount equals not plus equals. Uh. I mean, same thing, because it started at zero, right? I don't care, whatever. Uh, <laughs> divided by uh, passive uh, passive uh, points. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the um, the silver stars, I guess, are technically working, right? They just uh, they're just not working the way I want them to work, or like I I hadn't really thought through like how I set them up exactly. Uh, hey, Marty, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, and uh small advice for today oh boy i can't wait i love advice everyone knows that this is why i stream because i love getting advice don't be selfish that's good advice <laughs> it's actually arrogant and condescending but um i guess you'd know that if you weren't so selfish <laughs> just kidding <laughs> uh Passive point interval. Uh, doop -doop. uh, what did I? Am I forgetting something? No, that's that's legit. I just have to make sure I get this math correct. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So then the next thing is uh is to say uh passive uh points time plus equals this is where we want to do plus equals and we're going to do passive amount or we're going to do a uh, passive point interval uh passive point interval uh <laughs> thank you jaka uh passive point interval uh times uh passive uh amount uh uh save that and then uh 
So hypothetically, what'll happen here is like let's say let's say this is supposed to happen every fifteen minutes, right? So let's say we start up the script at three o'clock. If the first event happens at twelve or at, at uh, three three twelve, then there's no passive points to be gained yet, right? Because it hasn't been fifteen minutes yet. If the next event happens at like three twenty, then it'll check. Oh yeah, more than fifteen minutes have elapsed, but not more than thirty minutes. So only fifteen minutes will elapse, and it will move up the uh, passive points time to three fifteen. So then if the next event happens like exactly at like three twenty nine, then again it'll be like, oh no, not fifteen minutes have passed. And then let's say for whatever reason there's not another event until like 350 or something because I don't know why that would happen. It probably it shouldn't happen, really. But like actually no. Okay, so there hasn't been an event for a while and then someone wants to be GM and they sign up to be GM, but then they don't actually activate an event for a long time. That's like the only situation where that could happen. And it could happen. And then so then GM de gets deactivated at like, you know, 350 and then so the next time it checks, it says, oh, yeah, passive points time has elapsed. Not only has it elapsed, it's elapsed twice. So it says passive amount equals two because we're dividing that difference in time by the interval. So it should come out to, and then we're rounding down. So it should come out to uh, two. Uh, and then we multi, so then we add in, so we add the interval times two. So we add uh, passive points interval. So we add 30 minutes to it. And so we move it up 30. Yeah. So. Uh, I think this will work. I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think this, I think this will be good. And so, yeah, the gist here is so the reason that we're doing this else case is so that, um, we're not even going to bother adding in the player to the, uh, to the EXP gains queue multiple times. So like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so we will so we'll say uh. So instead of zero, because we didn't use to process passive bonuses here. So, but now that we are doing so, uh, we'll want to say uh. When we add experience or when we add them to the process experience gains queue, we'll want to say passive amount. Uh, or yeah, we'll want to we'll give them the passive amount, and we'll also want to say uh, like in this case, we'll want to say uh, oops uh. <laughs> Uh, we'll want to say, uh, like so, uh, index one plus equals, yeah, pass them out. All right. Oops. Uh, put a space there. Excuse me. And yeah, that should be good for the case where they are in the events key. And then now let's, uh, jump down to the place where they're not in the events key. Cause that's going to be basically just like this. Actually, I'm going to just get rid of what's there and, uh, and replace it basically with this. It's basically... Uh, yeah, no, this is fine, actually. Uh, the difference will be that uh, it's not one, it is passive amount. Is that what we called it? Passive amount. And it is not one, it is uh, passive uh, amount. Because in this, in, in the case of the, for these characters, these are the ones that were not participating in the event. And, oh yeah, we don't have to do this anymore. Uh, we don't have to do this anymore. Um, yeah, so these, these players are not gaining any experience, like, up front. But they are gaining they they are gaining passive uh, passive points because that's how that works. And then yeah, ooh, whoa, sorry. Uh, yes, and now uh, right. So the other thing that we're doing here is uh, we're doing the energies thing in our player dictionary. But now we can just uh, now we can just do this inside the other loop as well. And we only have to loop over it once. Uh, oops, what am I doing? Nope, that was not that was not correct. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll just move this. Uh, Oh, whoa, what just happened? What? what? My cursor is, like, seriously having a day right now. Uh, what is your problem? I keep... I click and I drag, and then it, like, picks up my cursor and acts as if it's a jerk, because it is. It's a total jerk. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So, yeah, so then the other thing that we'll do while we're looping over players is we'll check if they... Oh, yeah, so I have to put energies above this whole loop. Uh, otherwise grave consequences uh, <laughs> um, yeah so doo -doo. there we go All right. uh, uh, yeah good one fell swoop oh yeah I was 
the script is still running, right? Yeah. Okay. So I should probably take the script down now, because I want to change the gold and silver stars thing a little bit. Uh, because, yeah, right now, the gold stars might be okay, but the silver stars, I want to, I want to make that a little bit, um, a little bit easier. Oh, and I also want to bring it down slightly. The visual. Uh, sorry, so I'm going to do that first, actually. Uh, does it bother people when I make the screen all crazy like that? Because it's, it's literally the quickest and easiest way for me to, uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's the easiest way for me to check out the art in the game. Um, Porked out cool. I mean, <laughs> how can you go wrong? I mean, I guess Porked out hot would be a uh, would be a pretty good one too. But uh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not getting rid of your gold stars. I I promise you, I'm not getting rid of your gold star. I'm just changing the. Uh, I'm just changing the. Uh, the silver star. I just didn't like. It was like it was just sitting weird. It's like a little too high up. I wanted to sit lower. Uh, I think because it it just looks. It looks like it's like lost and like detached. It's like it's like floating off. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna change it much. I'm just gonna say, or no, not game data. Uh, was it? Oh, I put it in art. Uh, energy one. Uh, uh, open this. Um, yeah, so one thing to keep in mind, though, is about the stars and stuff, is that, um, they're not permanent. They, uh, they only, uh, count for as long as, uh, as long as you meet the criteria. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, so if you lose your star, it's only a temporary condition. You can always gain it back by, uh, by by cranking, cranking on, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, by like cranking out those events or, or like, you know, just going for it. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So save that. And then, uh, yeah. How do I want to change the, uh, how do I want to change the, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to make it like half of the other one or something like the, uh, so, yeah, so the threshold for, uh, oh, yeah, actually, it's here where we calculate that, right? Uh, energies, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, so actually it's going to be, uh, so we're not going to do this for I and range, blah, blah, business, whatever. It's going to be uh, energy markers index zero equals, uh, equals energies, blah, 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 whatever, uh, percentiles index zero. Uh, cause we'll, we'll still do that for the, for the top spot, right? We're still going to go with like the 90th or so percentile in the median. Uh, so like, so like only 10% of players can ever have, oh, actually only 10% of active players. So less than 10% of players, 10% or less of players can have the gold star. So maybe I should bring it down from 90. Maybe it should be closer to like 80 or so. And I can tune that. I can tune that as needed. Um, but then, yeah, so then I guess the other one will just be... Uh, the other one is not going to be as strict in terms of, like, what percentage of... Actually, maybe it should stay. Maybe it should stay like that. I don't know if you guys can hear that someone on the floor above me is vacuuming. I apologize if you can. <laughs> it probably shouldn't last very long. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Yeah. I like well the thing I like about percentiles is that like it can you can like it's a it's a definitive number of like uh like you can't accidentally make it the case that like everyone has these stars. I guess the tough thing is that Yeah, it, it turns out to be relatively few players having these stars. So, like, when there are relatively few players, right? Like, if there are five people playing, then that means, like, only one person can have the gold star. And... Yeah. Nah, whatever. I think that's fine for the gold star. But then for the other star... Uh, so, yeah. So, then... Uh, so, for... Uh, I in range... Uh, and right now, it's only one addi additional one. But whatever. Uh, so, one to uh, length... Uh, 
energy markers. Uh, energy markers. Oh, is the script still running? I should bring the script down. So that when I so when I'm done with this, I can bring it back up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring down the script. Sorry, just one second. Uh, all right. So length of energy markers. Uh, so for the rest of them, we're gonna say uh, energy uh, markers uh, index i uh, equals uh, energy markers markers uh, index zero uh, times uh, energy percentiles, which doesn't make sense anymore because it's not percentiles for, it's only percentiles for the first one, but whatever. Energy percentiles index I. So, so yeah, so the high score is based on the top percentile and then, or the, the so the gold star is based on the top percentile, top 10%, and then the, um, and it's, it always includes at least one player. Um, and then the the silver stars are based uh, on proximity to that score, not proximity to that percentile. Or yeah, I don't know, something like that. Uh, yeah, so anyone with seventy percent as much score as the person with the highest the the threshold for the highest percentile. If you have if you have seventy percent as much score as the person on the ninetieth percentile, then <laughs> you get a silver star. I guess that's how that works. Um, and uh, yeah, so if I, I mean, I, could, I can change this math if I add in, if I add in, like right now there's only the two levels, but uh, <laughs> um, it's a, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, for now, for now this is fine. I can get, if I, I might get really fancy with that system if people like it, or if like, especially if there are like a lot of people playing, then like I might want it more to be to be more granulated, right? Or like more, uh, more um, fine, like smooth, like more gradiated, I guess. If you, instead of just like chunky, big, like gold, silver, nothing, I could like put in like you know, gold five stars with like wings versus like uh, you know silver two stars with like. Like I don't know what else you know. I, I could go crazy with that if I felt like it. Uh, and when when I do that, I could like, yeah, I could I could change it a lot. Like I could make it so that like, you know, I, I could do all sorts of fun stuff with like percent percentiles and like percentages and like all that all that fun stuff that everyone loves. Oops, not Control A, Control S. Uh, so I can bring the script back up now. I think. Oh yeah, and I was gonna um, I was gonna continue on with like the passive points or the event cooldown. Uh, list whatever business. Uh, so yeah, let's bring the script back. Hopefully, I didn't introduce any terrible. Oh, I was gonna save the player data. Hold on, wait. wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna start this. Stop the script first. Oh, it stopped itself <laughs> by crashing. <laughs> right now, the thing I forgot to do is to back up the uh, player data, uh, which I said I was gonna do, just in case. So backups. Uh, copy here. Uh, all right. So what was this crash about? Uh, current energy. What? Player dictionary parade. What? List index out of range. Oh. Oh, right. It's not parade I anymore. It's <laughs> next adventure. <laughs> because I moved where in the script this happens. Derp. Wait, what? Uh, copy this. Oh, it's. Sorry, the file system is asking me a question. Uh, yes, replace these files. Uh. Next adventure, yeah. Uh, oops. Ah, stop! Stop popping up inside of my face. My face does not want you right now. Uh, all right, there we go. And then uh, I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't mess that up other places. It's next adventure, right? CDD is next adventure. Why is it CDD here? Why is it CDD instead of next adventure? Is that weird? Seems weird. I'm gonna replace that with next adventure too. Wait, is should I? CDD equals next adventure. They're equivalent statements. Why are I using CDD there? 
Oh, I should not be using CGD there. Creepy. Creepy. Should I? No. That's just creepy. I shouldn't. I should not be doing that. Creepy. I mean, it's technically equivalent. It's just like not tidy. Um. All right. I copy pasted other things. I hope I. I hope I got the. I hope I changed the indexes correctly when I copy pasted other things. I should look that up. Just, because that's another thing that could, like, screw up the. Uh, thing that the vacuum is literally right above my head right now. <laughs> I apologize for the noise. <laughs> um, I'm never sure what actually gets picked up on microphone and what, what doesn't because like I used to um, I used to live across the street from like a construction site or rather they were doing construction they were doing construction <laughs> they were doing construction uh, on a uh, <laughs> the house across the street. <laughs> Sorry, all I can hear right now is the vacuum. Um, and like, no one ever complained about the construction that was happening across the street until one day they like took out like a bandsaw, and they start. They were like, they were like cutting up boards and stuff, and all of a sudden people were like, "What are those whale noises?" <laughs> I was like, "What whale noises?" Um. So. I'm assuming this is like Return of the Whale Noises. Because it kind of sounds like a saw to me. So <laughs> apparently saws get fixed up uh, on, on mic really easily. Uh, Alright, so P-Key. I was using P-Key here, and I'm probably supposed to be using P-Key. So that's probably good. Right? P-Key. Yeah, totally supposed to be using P-Key. Alright, so I don't think I messed up anything here. Alright, so now if I rerun the script, it should work. Maybe? <laughs> yeah. uh, that'd be nice if it worked. Uh, let's find out. Run that. I backed up the player dictionary. Or I backed up the, the player data archives. I mean, I do that every night, too, but, like, I don't want to, I don't want to lose a day's adventuring if, uh, if I don't need to. And we adventured a lot this morning, so, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So the schedule, huh? Scheduling stuff scheduling stuff let's uh we left off at event cooldown uh well technically we left off at passive cooldown but then we got rid of passive cooldown and my computer stopped responding to text input for some reason is it just frozen for a little bit just yeah there it goes <laughs> good job <laughs> um all right so event cooldown we got that one all right so let's continue looking at cooldowns what we were just looking at a cooldown why did you move places you silly silly script Silly, silly IDE. Uh, where were we? We were here. Or no, not even here. We were further down. Stream data, Twitter data, fade, check fade. Event cooldown. All right. Uh, event points cooldown. Yes. That's our demo list. Uh, growth cooldown. Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's the other half of the passive point system. Growth cooldown. Uh, happens every half hour. 1800. Uh, act cooldown. What is act? What on earth is this? Act. Act time? Act slots? Oh, actions, yeah. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, every three seconds. Um, this is, um, <clears throat> when there are more than three action tags in an event, they take turns showing up on screen. So, for example, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, the vacuum noises probably weren't that exciting, but, uh, Right. <laughs> um, the uh, oh yeah. So if there are more than four action tags on screen, they take turns showing up on screen, and it, it cycles every three seconds. Is what this event was about. I I put that in so long ago that I'd completely forgotten about it. Because most events don't have as much as four action tags. Uh, crickets do though. So you'll notice uh, at the cricket race, it'll actually cycle. Uh, it'll only show three on screen at any given time, but it'll cycle through those. Uh, global cooldown, ping cooldown. Uh, pink cooldown. 
I think I can add ping cooldown. Oh, yeah. No, no, ping cooldown doesn't work the same way. Ping cooldown it makes it so that it doesn't accidentally ping again too soon. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's actually not relevant. Excuse me. Huh. Uh, is that, that can't be all of them, is it? That doesn't seem like very many. I mean, that's kind of a lot. Because I'm running all of the, right now I'm running all of these checks separately. Oh, act cooldown uh, equals three. I'm running all of these checks separately. So, like, instead of running these three, like, these, you know, eight or whatever checks, uh, I can just run one check to see if it's time to do any of those things and handle the rest of them accordingly. Uh, yeah. So that's good. So event point, so stream data, no, that's not relevant. Uh, or no, stream data cooldown, that might be relevant. Stream data, yeah, no, no, that one, that one is relevant, yeah. But it's already down the list. Uh, stream data cooldown. Event points, got it. Check fade cooldown, got it. Uh, growth cooldown. Uh, yes, that is totally on the list. Create, blah, blah, that one's not a real one. Act cooldown, yep. Uh, act cooldown, yep. Uh, anim cooldown, yep. Uh, say cooldown, not relevant. Ping cooldown, not relevant. Uh, event cooldown on the list. Event cooldown, got it. Event cooldown, event cooldown, event cooldown. Uh, oh yeah, how am I using event cooldown extension? Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm using it to set event time. It's just a different, it's a different cooldown for the same value. So, I can use those together, or like it's the same it's the same event. I mean, I technically I was listing these by cooldown, but technically I'm, I should be listing them by event because it's the events that we actually have to process. Um, So I could add the init's to this list too. I guess I might as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's start back at the top. And uh, with the init's, there's not like a, a clear order for like how, there's not like a clear value to indicate how frequently they happen. Because the init's happen based on the commands from myself or from the GM in chat. So uh, uh, I, uh, I'll just have to make judgment calls as to like how frequently I think these will come through, and they they'll, they're going to come through f relatively infrequently. Well, so yeah, no, relatively infrequently because for one thing, the automated system tends to run most of the time. Oh, did I restart the script? I probably haven't yet, have I? Uh, wait, did I? Did I never bring the script? No, it, was I supposed to restart the script and didn't? Or wait, how many star? How many people have stars? Uh. That should be a pretty strong indication. No one has stars? All right, I did restart the scripts. Right? Because if I hadn't restarted the script, people would have stars. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, when I restarted the script, it did rinse stars. I apologize. All right, I must have restarted the script. <laughs> sorry, I have, a, I have a very short, short-term memory. <laughs> I'm pretty good at remembering stuff, but... Uh, I'm also pretty good at forgetting stuff, so. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's look up the inits uh, that we might need to care about. Uh, I haven't been playing side quests at all today. Which I've been trying to get in the habit of doing so. I was actually planning on playing uh, side quests a lot today. And then I ended up doing a lot of other things instead. Maybe tomorrow will be a, a more side questy sort of days. Uh, I'm sorry. You can get them back. You, I swear. There, in fact, there should be more stars now. Uh, it it shouldn't even take as much uh, of your effort to get the stars back as it did to get them in the first place. So, there's that. Here, I'll 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 uh, I'll make an event happen. Demo. There we go. So you can get your stars back, nice and expediently. Uh, all right. So init's uh, init. Uh, uh, init GM, yes, sure. Init uh, GM. The inits are going to be a little bit different than the other events because with the inits, like I tend to have to like pass in some information there too. It's not just like init GM as like a thing, like a one-off thing. Like go do it. There's like some manner of information there that I'll have to send through as well. Uh, so init GM is one. Init role. 
Uh, yes. Init role is one. Uh, init growth is one. Uh, init uh, growth. Um, what else? Uh, init fact is probably never going to get used in the history of time, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, I might use facts eventually. Eventually. Uh, although facts don't really do tons yet. Uh, I might do it anyways. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, init fact. Um, uh, init event. Yes, for sure. Uh, init event. Uh, oh, weird. Oh, yeah, no, I remember what that was about. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, that and it does not count. <laughs> that and it does not count either. These nets do not count. Um, and it GM, I got it. And it roll. Uh, is that all the nets? Maybe. Uh, and it GM, and it roll, and it fact, and it event, uh, and it growth. Yeah, that might be all of them. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yes. So, all right. So this is good because right now I'm checking all of these things separately. And so you can, you might be able to understand why I was like quite interested in, uh, in getting, uh, the, uh, oh yeah. So the one weird thing about the stars is that like, they don't show up now. Sorry, I just switched over to screen cam because the event just ended, and I was going to check to make sure that the stars weren't showing up too soon. But the weird thing is, like, like it sacrificed is what? This character right here. And we just saw that it sacrificed got points and everything, right? So actually, like, the next time sacrifice walks across the screen, presumably uh, we'll see a star. But it's a little weird that it didn't show up, like, just right off the bat, right? Like, why does it take so long to show up? Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, so it's like, uh, wait, did, where's the silver stars? Are they just, like, taking their time to show up? Wait a second. Do I just need to change the math? Is it still, is the math still too, too sharp? Or, uh, oh, yeah, the math is probably just still too sharp. Because, right, it's like, uh, I'm do I'm multiple, what is the... I think like 0.7, I think was the other threshold. So, uh, 1.4 is just slightly shy. It's close. 1.4, if it was like, if it was literally like 2.0, then 1.4 would be like 70%. Uh, but no. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to tune that down slightly because I think it's still just a little too high. Uh, I'll go for like, I'll go for like 60, 60%, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it is slightly better than it was before, technically, but it's, it could still be a little bit better. Uh, and it's not that hard to change, so, because this time it's not changing anything like technical, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, where's the part where we load this stuff in? Uh, here, yeah, right. So right now it starts at nine and seven. That, that's, that, like these 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 numbers actually up here they don't matter. I'm gonna just put them to a hundred and stop caring about them forever. Uh, <laughs> no. The one that matters is point nine and point six now. So yeah, yeah, right. I think that's good. I think so. I mean, I could even do point five really. Like point, f yeah, maybe point five, or like point five five or something. Point five, point five, point five five. Wait, uh, yeah, hold on. Point four five, point four. Uh, so wait, so point nine. Uh, what would be like? I mean, I could, if I, because uh, 
no, whatever. 0.55 is fine. <laughs> I don't have to care about it. I was just thinking, like, because if the top one's 0.9, technically, like, I could try... Like, I think I mentioned this before. I could figure out, like, what 100% is and, uh, and, and then calculate it that way. And then I would probably go for, like, right around 0.5. But, um, no, nah, this is, this is fine for now. It's like the, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, I think, good. Uh, all right, save that. And then, uh, I... I won't, I won't restart the script right now, but next time, I, next time I restart the script, it should, there should be more silver stars again. Uh, sorry about that. Here, I'll, I'll give another event, so at least it'll smooth it out a little bit, and that way more people can get, uh, uh, more people can get silver stars. Because, like, right now, it's just, like, after one event, the, the, like, it's very, like, lumpy, it's very, like, you know, there's, there's this level, and then there's this level, and then, you know, the, the star threshold is, like, just above. <laughs> um, alright. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, actually, I'm going to make this not full screen so that I don't freak myself out by accident later on. All right. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. what's, uh, what's the what's? What, what was I working on? Oh, yeah, the, the whole list of stuff now. All right, so I can, start put, I can start piecing together this list, right? It's like, uh, so, yeah, right now. So if, uh, if do now index one equals, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just, like, name them after what they what they had been called before. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to put this slightly off camera, but, um, uh, so if, if do now, uh, equals, uh, anim, uh, anime, <laughs> no, anim, uh, wait, I, sh I guess I should come up with symbols instead of just passing strings through. Or, I mean, maybe the strings are fine too. Uh, hmm. No, nah, I'll, I'll use I'll use symbols. So, um, so like, uh, no, strings strings are fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, strings are fine. <clears throat> sure. Uh, anim. Uh, uh, right. So this is gonna be a series of else cases, if else. Uh, so anim. That one happens the most. So then else. Uh, uh, man, this is going to be awkward. It's going to either be super awkward or, or I don't know what, <laughs> um, all right. So else, uh, or else if, uh, uh, do now index one, uh, uh, oh, this is supposed to be equals equals, not equals, uh, equals equals, uh, <clears throat> Uh, stream data. Uh, all right, so we have a bunch of these. Uh, oops, no, don't do that. Oh no, what happens? <laughs> oh no! Passive points interval is not defined. Yeah, it is. Did I misspell it? Passive points interval interval. Maybe I misspelled it in the point where I declared it. Uh, passive points interval. What are you talking about? Not defined. Liar. It's defined right here. Passive points interval equals 900. What are you talking about? Not defined. Passive points interval is not defined. You're not defined. Your face is not defined. Your face is a lumpy... <laughs> um yeah what the heck is this what is this what is this what is this garbage about i just feel like this is not a real error it just can't be right because look i'm literally passive points interval equals 900 like i'm never like deleting it so it's like <laughs> not to find my foot I'm just gonna pretend that it's not a real bug and just rerun the script. <laughs> Cause that wasn't even the first event. We already had an event, right? We had another event and it worked fine. So so it somehow got 
undefined after the first event. Is that what? Is that? Is that what I'm led to believe? It, it was. Is there another type? Is there a different typo here that I'm just not noticing? Oh, it's it's saying in this line. It's saying, passive points interval. Oh, passive point interval. Duh. All right, I just typoed. That makes more sense. All right. All right, that's good. Uh, <laughs> what, did, what did I say it sacrificed? <laughs> when I when I'm when I'm displeased with uh, how things are going, I sometimes just sling, uh, uh, like just random, just like dissatisfied statements about <laughs> about what's going on. I um <laughs> I apologize if I offended anyone. <laughs> um all right, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get back to uh to rerunning the script in just a moment, but uh I'll give it a moment more to cool down and in the meantime I'll uh finish or not finish, but continue putting in a few more of these uh Oh, my tumbly is grumbly. I apologize. Uh, where was it that I was actually adding these things? It was, yeah, it was up here. Uh, all right, so... Uh, uh, so stream data. So that's going to be act, action tags. Oh, yeah, that's actually... Action cooldown is gonna, is an example of one that, like, happens often, but actually doesn't happen that often. Because, like, the only time it actually evaluates is when there are four or more... Uh, uh, action tags for an event, which happens very infrequently. So I can actually put that further down the list, but I'm just going to count them out now. So actions, uh, event points, Twitter data. Oh, I'm actually not 100% about Twitter data. I might not need Twitter data. But uh, check fade cooldown, event cooldown, growth cooldown, init GM, init roll, init growth, init fact, init event. All right, so I might not need literally all of these, but um, this is like this is like the gist of, of what I might need. <laughs> These are the dumbest LSIF cases. Um, <clears throat> I did say that, didn't I, Protosasm? <laughs> oh, yeah, so the one thing that I, I noticed once... Um, <clears throat> Pema, hey. Um, one thing I noticed once when I was watching my own stream is that sometimes when I say those things, like when I was watching my own stream, as the viewer, it felt like they were being said at me. And I was like, it was one of those cringe moments. Cause like, those are just the things that I'm like, it's literally, it's basically like a knee jerk reaction. Like when something goes wrong, I just like, like when I read an error code, like such and such is not defined. Like I just like, the first thing I start saying is, uh, <laughs> uh Benga Linksy. I actually answer that question in my frequent last question section. Fun facts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, all right, so, all right, yeah, so, I don't, yeah, one of these, one of these cases I might not need to, all right, mm, sorry, before I get started with that, uh, I'll rerun the script, oh, and what I was saying about the, uh, the thing about how I was offended by myself with, uh, what do you, shut up, oh, right, it's, it's mad that there's nothing inside all of these cases, it's like, literally, if I just put in this, this empty string, uh, that does absolutely nothing inside all of these, whoops, inside all of these cases, it's gonna stop, oh no, it's gonna stop complaining at me right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm just putting it in here because, uh, because, uh, uh, I'm not gonna, f I'm not gonna populate all of these cases immediately, and so, excuse me, it'll be helpful to, uh, avoid that annoying error that it's gonna keep coming up with. Expected an indented block. Pfft. I'll give you a block to indent. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, my point with the uh, my point with those stupid uh, th uh, insults that I throw back at the compiler. Um, I apologize if it sounds if I if anyone's offended by those because I I swear I'm not talking to anything really. I'm just like I'm just like it's literally just venting. It's literally just venting, and uh, I don't. If I say, if I ever say something is like, like stupid or I don't like it, I'm. I assure you, I'm not talking about any of you guys, uh, unless I mention you by name. <laughs> um, 
Uh, yeah, uh, Doom Lazy. Uh, the script is now back up and running. So uh, here we have the game uh, back in progress. It is, in fact, what we are seeing uh, across the bottom of the screen here. Um, so uh, I think... Uh, I'm not sure when your comment came in. It might it might have... Uh, if you So, like, the uh, I don't know if your character has marched across the screen yet, uh, but... Yeah, one of these characters is you, one of these characters is each of us, uh, or each of these characters is one of us, rather. And, um, so, uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, so the, oh, here, I'll, I'll activate, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my brain. I'm on hour six of streaming, so I don't have a great excuse, but, uh, um, yeah, so the, uh, the, the, I, I just activated an event, and, uh, so you can see in chat, if you've never played along before, uh, that's the, that's where Trusty Bard is relating the, uh, the, the story of this event, and, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you can, as you can see, there are now these action tags showing up here on screen, like, uh, like this one here, uh, this one, or some of the other ones down over on that side, and they represent, like, the actions that you can take as part of the event, and, uh, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the gist of it. And, uh, right now what I'm working on is, like, basically optimizing, like, some kind of, like, not impressive, uh, like, I'm, I'm engineering now. I, like, never engineer. But, like, I'm literally, like, like, literally, like, I always just, like, just, you know, cram in whatever, and it's like, oh, it works, whatever. But I'm actually, like, engineering right now. I'm making it so that the, uh, I'm a little more, like, uh, efficient in how I'm, uh, passing messages throughout the, throughout the game, so, there's that, <laughs> um, all right, so, uh, right, so this list actually, it's not just stream data all day, it's actually, um, so I'll call this, like, act, I'm gonna call it action tag, uh, because, <clears throat> I, it took me forever to figure out what it was. Or it didn't take forever, but it, I, like, had no clue what that meant last time I read it, so... Oh, yeah, and that was the other thing that I was... I actually... I only need to do this... Not often. Wait, how often... When Or when do I need to do this? I guess, like... I need to schedule it the first time? If... If an event... Yeah, I'll just have to be careful about how I schedule it. And yeah, so I don't have to put it up here. Uh, I just have to make sure I schedule it eventually. Uh, so, so event points, uh, yeah, I'll t I, mm, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to remember to schedule it the first time. When the event initiates having four or more action tags, because in the case where events don't have four or more action tags, we just won't initialize it at all, and we don't have to worry about scheduling it at all, but then, um, uh, yes, Doom Lazy, that is also in my Frequently Asked question section. Uh, and it's because, yes, I am, I am literally, uh, I'm, well, I'm climbing stairs right now is what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I bob up and down sometimes. <laughs> uh, all right, so event points, uh, is something that we have to do sometimes. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, Twitter data. Oh, I don't know if I have to do Twitter data. I should look this up. I think, actually, I'm pretty sure I don't have to do Twitter data, because I'm pretty sure Twitter data cooldown is handled on its own thread. Uh, yeah, this is all handled on its own thread, so actually, I definitely don't need to do that. Uh, so I can get, I can just get rid of that one. Ah, uh, doop -ba doop Could have checked that earlier, but whatever. Uh, okay, so, uh, none of that, and then, so, uh, check fade. Uh, yes, and then, uh, event cooldown, or event time, I guess, <laughs> that's a big one, uh, growth cooldown, uh, and then, oh yeah, so then the rest of them are init's, so init, uh, gm, uh, init roll, actually, I mean, I guess, uh, I guess at the start of this, I could check if it starts with a knit. Because if it starts with a knit, then it's going to be something very different. So. Yeah. 
So like actually, yeah. All right. So uh, so if uh, if do now uh, index one uh, indexes zero through what would it be four five four five five uh, equals uh, oops, uh, if so if the first five characters equals uh, init underbar, then uh, we can jump down to the init tree. So we can yes, yeah, so we can handle all these like init things separately, uh, like in the separate case, and then uh, and this will be the else case, uh, which includes all of these things. Uh, yeah, that I think that'll save a little bit of. Uh, cascading through this awful tree, uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, oh, oops, yeah, no, oh, oops, <laughs> the, and so then these aren't all supposed to be elifs, these are supposed to be nested ifs, oh, and this is supposed to be not indented, right, that's how that's supposed to go, all right, uh, and that's not supposed to be there, uh, all right, so init gm, init, uh, init, uh, roll, uh, init growth, uh, init fact, uh, init event, wait, why is there, there are too many of these, did I miss something, I might have accidentally, Oh, I forgot. To, oh, I forgot to add in. Uh, yeah, there are too many. I forgot to add in. Uh, oops, no, stop. I forgot to add in uh, uh, the the action, whatever. Because it's not that I meant to get rid of it completely. It's just that I meant to move it further down. Uh, so if uh, do now uh, index one uh, equals uh, action tag. Uh, yeah. So we did want one for it, <laughs> just not uh, a friend. All right, and then we did get rid of one though. We got rid of the uh, Twitter data cooldown. All right, so stream data. Uh, <clears throat> so, <laughs> how was uh, how was your super old code Pema? Was it like perfect and written fantastically the first time? That's that's how mine always is, right? <laughs> not um, not at all. Uh, you know, poorly optimized or embarrassing in any way. Uh, <laughs> or just, like, conceptually confounding. Nope, mine's always super great when I go back and look at it again. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, save this. And then, uh, yeah, so now I can start plugging stuff in here, I guess. I... Yeah, I mean, I can start plugging stuff in here. The other thing, though, I need to do is change how... The, yeah, I need to, like, actually start populating the scheduling system. So... A lot of the scheduling will be done from within the scheduling itself. Because, like, these... Most of these... the Most of the events on the schedule are, like, recurring events. At least that that's how it is for, like, not the initialization stuff, but for the other stuff. Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You use LOL as <laughs> variables. That's yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> that sounds uh, that sounds that sounds like top notch code. It sounds like you got off on a very great foot, uh, or uh, off to a very great start. So <laughs> I assume you've upgraded to like uh, Raffle Mouse as your variable name since then. <laughs> uh, all right, what's it? Um, all right, so initializing GM, I think init's will be easier to put into this system because init's are uh, init's are simpler. They're not like self scheduling. So would I have to to put an init in here? And they're all they're all relatively contained. So to put an init in here, we basically just have to go to the place where we're handling the init and just like move it into here. That's like it's and then change the okay. So yeah, so uh, so let's find out. Th let's find the place where we're doing init GM right now. Uh, yeah, so if init gm not equals zero, right, so, uh, yeah, so the, the difference will be that, um, we don't use init gm anymore, but we need to, uh, we need to, so I'm going to cut this, uh, 
We're not gonna use initGM anymore. So with the, uh, the 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 messaging system that we're using here, the schedule, we'll have to um, instead it'll have to have uh, we'll have to have uh, another variable because like initGM, yeah, right. So it's it's gonna be do now index. So where we, where we had initGM, it's gonna be do now uh, index. Uh, 